free. Oh no, I'll bug you in the candle system. What the hell is that in there? What the hell? What the hell? Hello? Hey, no, 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 no. No, stay there. Hey. Oh, my God. Dude. It's okay. It's okay. Leave. Stop. You gotta go. Shh, 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 shh. Calm down. What are you? Stop. Charlie, come on. I don't, I don't even know how to explain what I'm seeing. Holy hell. Yes? Hello? What is that? Who are you? I'm not going to hurt you. Leave my lights alone. When one night, while Wade was home alone, with just him and his baby daughter, he was sound asleep. But when he woke up, he noticed that a photo had been taken from his phone at 2.34 a.m. A photo from above of himself sleeping. Upon reviewing the photo, his jaw dropped in terror. So I think probably the creepiest thing that's ever happened to me just happened. Um, when I woke up this morning, my phone said that my storage was full, so I went to my photos to delete some. And the very first one was a photo taken last night of me asleep in my bed. It was an overview photo. Um, and the, the creepy part is, is I'm home alone with my 10-month-old daughter. My wife's been out of town in Colorado for a week. I live in Washington. There's no way that my 10-month-old could have taken the photo because she sleeps in a crib in, a, in one room over. And there's no way she could have crawled out of her crib, came into my room, got my phone, and then found a way to stand like five feet above my bed and take the picture. It's not possible. And even if she did, 
it would have, I would have, there would be a notification on the, on the app for her camera. So I, I'm super freaked out right now. I feel like there's someone in my house. I feel like there's someone watching me, I, and I don't know what to do. At the end of this video, I'll add the photo um, for context to anyone that's seeing this and hasn't seen the first video. Uh, it, I'm home alone, just me and my daughter, and someone took a picture of me in my bed um, at 2 o'clock in the morning, which is super terrifying. Right now, I'm staying at a buddy's house um, in his guest room. Just We're too spooked to stay at my house. It's just too creepy. Uh, I, even though I did search the whole house, there's definitely no one there. I made a police report. They didn't really seem super interested, but anyways, uh, here's the photo. I made sure to screenshot it so you can see what time it was taken. It's at 2.34 in the morning. Um, as you can see, there's no way that my daughter could have taken it. Um, and there was no one else in my house. Um, yeah, the, the way that the photo looks is just super creepy, and it looks like someone was standing on my bed, which is also super creepy. As you can see, the photo seems to be taken from above, as if someone was standing on the bed. But there is no signs of any weight being applied onto the bed. Thinking logically, he searches the whole house expecting to find an intruder, but to his surprise he finds nobody there. Completely spooked from the incident, he decides to take his daughter and stay at a friend's house for a while. After a while he returned home from his friend's house and everything seemed fine. That is, until he posted an update. Alright, yeah, for a little update. Uh, sorry, I'm super freaked out, so I'm shaking, but we, we got home from my buddies. Um, earlier today, and, uh, I searched the house, it seemed fine, I searched my attic, I don't have a basement, um, it started to calm down, everything started to seem normal, uh, so, I decided I wanted to take a shower, um, which is fine, I took a shower, and as soon as I got up, got out and grabbed my towel, I realized that my towel was soaking wet, like someone had, like someone had just used it, um, uh, there's been no one here. Um, yeah, there, there's, uh, some people in the comments that are saying, get a dog and get a gun. Uh, I have both of those things. Um, my dog is old and deaf and, uh, pretty blind, but she's always slept in my daughter's room. She slept in my daughter's room the night that I got the picture taken of me, which is kind of why I feel like, this is why I feel like nothing happened to her, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> Anyways, tonight, um... Uh, we're all gonna sleep in my room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the dog in there, the baby, the gun, everything. I'm gonna keep my door locked. And, uh, yeah, I also called the police. They really, did just, they're really not helping me out. You can clearly hear the stress in his voice as he tries his best to hold back tears. And based on what he is saying, it sounds like there may be someone living somewhere in his house undetected. On another night, he is woken up to some disturbing sounds, and it doesn't end very well. I just woke up to something scratching at my door. I originally thought it was my dog. My dog is right here. Um, Dizzy, no, 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 no. You okay? Come on, honey. <sighs> Can't leave the dog. Shit, shit, shit. I'm coming, Daisy. Fuck. Dog. 
easy. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. Daisy, get in the car. Get in the car. He is awoken in the middle of the night by the sound of scratching at the door. But when he opens it, there is nothing there, and the door in front ends up slamming shut, along with a whisper saying, Get out. After closing his own door, the continuous banging at the door causes him to pick up his baby daughter and climb out of the window to get her to his car. At the same time, a whisper can be heard saying, Leave this place. And after retrieving his dog, we see what looks like a hand placed on the window. Wade is terrified to go back to his own place and has been staying at a hotel ever since. Oh no! No, 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 no!